What a morning this is going to be. Carl's coming back, baby! Yeah. Freaking smash! Hey man, that was awesome. Hey folks, when it counts, I'm your guy. The corn man. Golden probation! Yeah, golden probation! You know this freak baby today. The hunt's not gonna end because of this. Well, well, I put that spinner back up, and the Drake just coasted in lock wings within the first 10 minutes I had it back. Well, this is day two of our little two day hunt, just golden eye today. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. It's a Saturday. I got a text from Golden Boy that he overslept. Only 15 minutes, but you know, that spot we had yesterday was a fantastic spot. And I'm just a little nervous someone's gonna beat us in here. If someone beats us in here, I, I don't really have much of a plan B. So I hate not having plan Bs. So I'm approaching park spot here. We're going to put the boat on. You can walk to this place and boat to it. So I'm just nervous. I know that's only 15 minutes. It just makes me really nervous that someone's going to beat us into this spot. Because I think we'll probably shoot another limit in here. So we'll just see. We'll see if anyone's either at the walk-in spot or at, at the boat ramp. Hopefully it's hopefully we're the first, but if not, I do not, I'm not sure what we'll do. Well, I feel a lot better. We're at the, I'm at the, waiting for Golden, I'm at the walk-in spot. We park here for a couple reasons. Number one, Golden's gotta leave like really early today, like 8.30. So we're gonna boat in, but he's probably gonna walk out. And number two, if we can let people know we're in there, it just avoids people walking in on us, which is nice too. So no one at the walk-in, that's good. I feel a little better once Gold gets here. We'll get rolling and go down to the boat ramp and see if there's anyone there. So hopefully no boats either. We should get this spot no problem. So look who the, the late, late boy. I will say this. If there's a boat at the boat ramp, it's not your fault. Because no boat passed me. Okay. So you're, you're absolved <laughs> well, of any crimes. Yeah, we're still getting here pretty early, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. So we will see. I, I, we, I could already hear him quack and clear down in there. I think we're gonna probably shoot another limit. I hope so. You will at least. And no skim up. ice, so. Yeah, should, that's a huge. It bonus. didn't get down below 33. Yeah, saw that. We should be good to go. Well, we were sir, we're the first ones here. There's the old Black Death 4500. Well, we are now set up and ready to go. Really surprising. It got down to 33 last night, and we came into skim ice. So if ice actually formed at 33 degrees, so, I don't know, unless it got down to 32, just barely, I guess, but if we moved out and find a, found a spot with no ice, we've got this whole pool to ourselves, except for our buddy Jason and Hunter, the little turkey slayer. They're on the other side of the pool. So right now it's just them and us. Lots of ducks flying this morning already. Lots of ducks flying. Hopefully this will be as good as yesterday. Hopefully it'll be better. We can get some flocks in here. Look at those feathers. Look at that feather plume. 
I don't think the GoPro got that. Goose off dry left a little bit, and I'm just trying to let the GoPro get the footage. But we had a whole flock of about 12 just come right in, and we each took one out of it. So he's got a hen, I've got a drake. We're off to a good start. Well, Golden's got his drake. He's got two now. Things are going well. We're not using a spinner today because it's not working. Man, it's, it's going well. Good job. Golden boy got the spinner going. Well, we've got some pretty good movement. But man, the ducks just aren't really looking at us hardly after our first two passes, but it's still really early. So good old golden boy somehow got the spinner going. We got some motion. We got some movement. The movement is not as good as it was yet, not as strong as it was yesterday. Good shot. But he's got his fourth now. He's one off his golden limit. And I've got one. Time for Aiden to leave. He has his four. I let me shoot him. He's gonna walk on out of here. And I'm gonna, I don't know. This is just not finishing for us, but I make a few adjustments here. We got five, half of a two man limit. Not bad, right? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good for no wind. Yeah. So Aiden had this little hide over here, tucked under here. And then I've got the layout boat. I'm gonna move my layout boat, I think. Well, Aiden left with his four ducks. Five ducks in an hour and a half, that's not too bad. So, I need four mallards for my limit. It's about 8.30ish, so. I think from now, I probably won't hunt much past noon. So I got time. I like my hide. Ooh, there's some ducks there. We'll see what happens. Oh, dang it, I really did not want to shoot a hen. But man, I'll tell you, I'm having problems finishing these birds. Probably lack of water, movement on the water. My guess. But this, these sucker, I mean, gave me, I don't know, seven or eight passes. And I was saying, those birds gave like, my gosh, eight passes? There's a drake in a hen. And we've been having problems landing birds in here, both days actually. <sighs> My guess is it's lack of movement on the water. We had to, I'm without a jerk rig right now. I think a jerk rig would definitely really help on this, but at least six passes, just outside of range. And so, of the two of them, that hen presented herself, I went and took her, so I got two. But I don't wanna, I do not wanna shoot any more hens today, I really don't. We'll just see what happens. I'm two for three, so there's my second. So, that was fun though. Everyone swears in pulling the spinner late season. It's never ever been effective for me. But I will say that since we put the spinner up, birds haven't finished. Now we only finished that group really early and then one single. But if, if they keep not finishing, which is what they're doing, I'm gonna try to pull the spinner and see if that works. It's never ever worked anytime I've ever tried it. That is, that is not improving anything. The whole problem is just the wind the lack of wind 
but I am going to try that here if things don't improve and we'll see I would love it if it, if it worked but we'll see I cannot finish anything they just won't finish they just won't finish so I'm pulling the spinner so since pulling the spinner the only change has been the ducks won't even come near me so, but the wind is starting to pick up. So I'm gonna let the wind pick up a little bit. I'll keep this no spinner experiment going. If that doesn't work, wind's blowing, then I'll pop the spinner back up. But I'll give it a little bit of time. But anything in the pool now doesn't even come and look. So if anything, it's had negative effect. So which is normally the case, um, as far as I've ever, I can tell. Well, that's about the 25th, the 30th time I've tried that experiment with pulling the spinner. And not one time has it helped. Not once. Oh man, there's a bunch of birds right there. I better... Crap, well, I'm gonna put the spinner back out anyway. spinner back up and the drake just coasted in lock wings within the first 10 minutes I had a backup so I'd say my experiment was plus one for late season spinners <laughs> boom two more I got three now there he is what a beaut yes I'm a four, one more. Need one more. I'd say that spinner's paying off for sure. I probably, probably should have not shot that hen. I didn't, I really did not want to shoot two hens today. Before today, I've shot three hens all year. Now I've got two on the day. But oh well. Hopefully the GoPro's picking those up. But I put that spinner back up, it's been 10, 15 minutes, two birds. Drastic change. So, I never have agreed with, oh my gosh. Oh man, that could have been bad. I never have agreed from my personal experience that spinners are a detriment. And you know, since spinners came out, we've tried to turn them off multiple times and it's never helped. Today's another example. Turn it off, it gets worse, put it back up, a little wind starts shooting ducks. So I need one more, then I'll be heading home. And there we go. We'll see if I can do this without spilling or burning. I actually had a shot, but I couldn't looking into the sun I couldn't tell it was it, I just couldn't make sure it was a drake so I couldn't shoot it I just couldn't quite tell so I moved my layout right there and before I could even get it and lay out shot my last duck I had to work hard for that lemon and you know I've been using these white rock decoy mallard decoys and I've got the nomad and the pool seven up durable they look good so I'll put a link to white rock um, down in the description below if you use FDH 10 you can just 10% discount, but go check that out. Thanks for joining me. There'll be another one soon.